Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries where I try new things and I try to teach you new things and today I have a brand new juggling video for you. I had so much fun making this and if you stay tuned till afterward I'm going to talk a little bit about my inspiration for the video and the making of it and my favorite parts so stay tuned if you want to hear all of that. And if you do like the video make sure you like and subscribe, it helps me out, it lets YouTube know that I'm making good content and that other people should see my dorky juggliness and stuff. All right, get ready for some great music, some pretty good juggling, and a whole lot of smiles. I hope it makes you smile too. Here is my new juggling video, All Eyes On Me. Thanks so much for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, I had a really good time filming this video. You know, I, I usually go into making a video with like a song in mind and this was no exception. I heard this song by Pigeon John on Spotify and I just knew that I was gonna make a video for it. So that makes it easier when I film because I just know kind of what I want it to feel like. And this one clearly had a lot of kind of dancey bits. So 
pretty much just played that song on repeat and blasted it throughout my apartment while I was filming this video. Obviously there's a lot of dancing in this video. I am not a good dancer, which you now know. And there was a part of me that was like, yeah, I don't know if I should show how dorky of a dancer I am, but I don't care. It's who I am and I like it. And the entire time I was doing this in my apartment, it actually reminded me of when I was a little kid and my mom, she would always put on this one song, this Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison, and she would just pull me up and we'd start dancing. And she danced like that. That's where I learned it. Thanks, mom. And we would just, we didn't care how dumb we looked or how whatever, we would just dance. It felt good and I always loved it. That's kind of the feeling that I wanted to convey in the dancing scenes in this video. I've tried to do stories in the past. I use the word story really loosely because they don't usually make sense or have like an actual beginning and end, but I think this one was the most coherent thing that I've done. It's a very basic story. It's actually based on real life. I've worked in the film industry for the last six years in editing, and if you work in that industry, you know that it's a very unpredictable industry. It's not uncommon to wake up the morning of and find a text or an email saying, hey, don't come in and you get all excited and then it turns out, nah, they changed their mind, you need to come in. So this is definitely based on, on my real experience. Now, I don't know if anyone really can tell besides me, but I actually wanted to really recapture the feeling of some of my older YouTube from when I was a teenager. Most of my old juggling videos really, they were really silly and like my dorkiness really came out. I would just put up a camera in my house at the time and just film whatever tricks I was working on. I think at the time there was so much less pressure to make these like epic videos, you know? Now it's like, if you don't have the best camera and the best tricks and the best location, like people don't respond as well. And, and I definitely get in that mindset of like, I have to be better, I have to be the best, I have to be more creative and more unique and better juggling and I can't make a new video until I learn these tricks and all that stuff. And I just missed the days of making a video in your house and being a dork and letting your personality come out and like, who cares if the tricks are the hardest tricks? Like, just have fun. And I'm all for that. So, you know, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna make the new style of juggling videos, but this one, yeah, I wanted it to be nostalgic for me. I wanted it to feel like my old videos. It's very old school in a lot of ways. It's, you know, it's just on a tripod. It's just me in my PJs in my apartment. The whole thing is in 24 frames a second, which basically, if you don't know what that means, it just means none of it's slow motion. You know, you don't see any of those epic speed ramps that I like to do and everyone likes to do. There's a lot of these silly, like, cut tricks. It actually really reminds me of this video, Wicked, that I did, where I do a lot of those similar cuts and it's all about my clothes and all about just being a dork and there's a lobster. I just had fun with it. If you do want to check that one out, there's a link in the description. It still makes me smile. To me, this one definitely feels like that, just with 10 years later new technology and slightly better juggling. Slightly. <laughs> now, I want to talk a little bit about my favorite parts of the video because I always make videos and I never get to really tell people like what I like the most. My favorite moment of this video is this moment with Lemon where I'm dancing and then I realize that she's staring at me very judgmentally and we share this little moment and then I go back to dancing. Lemon is a very special dog. She, she's got these big bulging eyes that just, actually, I'm gonna go get her. Hold on. So this is my dog, Lemon. She always looks terrified. Her eyes are just 90%, stop it. 90% of the time she's like, so there are times when I'm juggling and she looks at me with those eyes, like judging you. I know you're not really judging me, huh? She's doing it right now. I also just love her and I wanted to put her in the video. So that was fun. So my favorite juggling trick moment, whatever, in this video is actually this part where I do these four ball Mills mess variations. I love Mills mess patterns. I think they're beautiful. I think that they're so much fun to do and when you get them right, they feel so right. So yeah, I filmed this whole string of different four ball Mills mess variations that I really enjoy. And you know, did the hat thing, which was fun too. And then I end it with like a pretty long run of five ball Mills mess that's surprisingly clean. I thought that was a pretty cool moment. I was pretty proud of that. I would love to hear what your favorite moment was in this video. Leave a comment, let me know. I am really curious because there's a lot of fun moments and I am proud of a lot of it. Another thing I'll say about the tricks in this video, this was filmed back in August and at the time I was practicing 
couple hours every day for a couple months. Like IJ had just happened and I was just, I was rocking it. I do notice watching it back that so many of the tricks that I do are influenced by Matt Hall. If you don't know who Matt Hall is, you should definitely go check him out. He just released an awesome trick of the month video over the summer that I actually filmed. He's one of my favorite jugglers and he's actually an amazing teacher. So I went to IJ, I went to his funky five ball workshop and learned some crazy patterns that are just super fun and there's a couple of them in this video. So huge thanks to Matt for just inspiring so much about my practice habits and the tricks that I did in this video. I just, I really appreciate it. And if you're ever at a festival where you can take that funky five ball workshop, I highly recommend it. There's also a festival coming up called Game of Throws that he runs and he will be teaching that workshop at. That festival is happening January 25th to the 27th, I think that's right. All the actual date will be here. I'm actually gonna perform in that as well, so you should be there. This video also has like another meaningful thing to me. I'll often make juggling videos to sort of timestamp moments and periods of my life. And I filmed this at a time when I was just about to move out of this apartment. It was the first apartment that felt like my home, like my adult apartment. I decorated it the way I wanted. It had all the features I wanted. I really loved that apartment and and so I wanted to make sure that I filmed a video before I left it so that I could always remember that home. I've moved into a new place and I love it even more because I have great roommates, but it's really nice to know that I'm always gonna have this video to remember that apartment with. All right, well, that's all I can think of to mention about that video. You know, I've never done this like sort of talking about the video afterward. If you liked it, let me know. Uh, if you didn't, I guess you can let me know. <laughs> Or if there's things that you'd like me to talk about in my next video when I do another one of these, uh, let me know what that would be. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else you would want to know. But yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to know, then let me know. Again, if you did like it, it helps me out if you push the like button and if you subscribe. I hate being that person that has to talk about it, but man, it helps. It's, it's YouTube. That's how, that's how it works. So push the buttons, and I'll see you next time. Now, my favorite, <gasps> no.